the school board and administrators spent quite a lot of time on these, Superintendent Mike Folks said this morning. Folks said the board will be revisiting the targets, several items at a time, throughout the year. Specifically, the targets are as follows, the district will maintain a website, which is current, and provides relevant information to those inquiring about United States dollars 379, including links to each building and department. The board will improve interaction with district site councils, and will arrange for site councils to receive training of some sort. The board will continue to upgrade technology use in the district, including use of MAP and CPS with data implementation recommendations, and provide student technology that is geared toward high student engagement. The district will show an increase in graduation rates, striving to exceed the state average. Alternative school implementation will be researched as one possible means to accomplishing this target. The board will support district efforts to provide the resources needed to schedule more collaborative time for teachers in order to allow curriculum implementation to occur. The board will expect instructional material replacement schedules to be kept. The board will ensure that effective and timely staff evaluations are carried out based on quality and appropriate job descriptions. The board will receive from the superintendent recommendations as to possible changes in district-wide staffing and organization to increase efficiency in the district. The board will expect a completed study of classified wages, staffing, recruitment and retention in order to support these recommendations. The board will participate in at least one board training session. The board will support the approved district maintenance plan with emphasis on safety issues and the further development of a long-term plan for dealing with any deteriorating facilities. The board will approve an updated three-year transportation replacement plan. In other matters last night, board members approved classified salary recommendations, set a special board meeting at 6 p.m. Monday, November 12, for personnel matters. Heard a presentation from Kristen Wright and Paula Lane regarding the requirements, benefits and incentives to acquire national certification. This is a prestigious accomplishment with less than 1% of the teachers in Kansas having this endorsement. Lane is close to having this certification, and Wright is just starting the process. Currently, USD 379 has one teacher with the endorsement, Amy Anderson, the new business computer teacher at Wakefield. Saw folks present merit recognition awards to Chris Steenbach, Longford Secretary, and Betty Siebold, TLEC Secretary. Board President Brad Mason was given a KASB Boardmanship Level I Certificate for Board Training Participation, tabled action on a request to move the Relay for Life event indoors at CCCHS instead of using Auto Unruh Stadium accepted the resignations of Rocky Downing as 8th grade head football coach at CCCMS, Craig Rickley as 7th grade boys basketball coach at CCCMS, and Carol Slingsby as help room teacher at CCCMS, approved the following hiring recommendations, Ryan Salmon, CCCMS 7th grade boys basketball for the 07-08 year, Craig Rickley, CCCMS 8th grade boys basketball coach for 0708, Rocky Sarah's Wakefield Junior High assistant basketball coach for 0708, Carol Slingsby, Wakefield Elementary reading specialist for the remainder of school year. Also, Jeannie Halstead, no more than 8 hours a week at Riley from November 6 for remainder of school year, Aaron Lord. Paraeducator for no more than 35 hours a week at Lincoln Elementary for remainder of school year. Christy Scott, paraeducator for 35 hours a week from November 6 through remainder of school year. Also, Stacy Benton, paraeducator for 35 hours a week at Glasgow Elementary from November 6 through remainder of school year. Shelley Canizzo, part-time secretary for 20 hours a week from November 6 through remainder of school year, addition of one day to Linda Davis's contract as an occupational therapist for the TLAC from November 6 through remainder of school year.